Hello, everybody. Good morning. This is Everything Man United, and I am your host, Otis. And with me are Kizzy and Shooks, your co-host. We had an excellent game yesterday. An excellent game yesterday. I am excited. I hope you are, too. And uh, this is our post-match show on the Chelsea, sorry, Manchester United versus Chelsea game that happened last night. So you're about to get our reaction and our post-match analysis. All right, Shooks, you have the floor. Okay. Um, yesterday's game was actually awesome. Like, basically, Manchester United did to Chelsea what Newcastle did to us. And this game clearly shows us all, all what um, Tian wants. You understand? How Tian wants to play and everything. You get. And I think yesterday, Maguire was really solid at the back. It was really solid following his um uh, his man of the uh, player of the month award and that was also that was also trying to make impact going forward that's why it's because first of all when i looked at the line i was like ah why do i'm starting to start now ah, ah, what's happening what's going on here but actually when i watched that game i understood why that was started ahead of uh Misaka. Um, Misaka. wow Ganashu was like, guy. Yeah, that guy has collected Rashford spots. Rashford is not going back there again. <laughs> he has, see, for the game, you will understand that they have, they have, like, for Tehan not to solve him off, we tell you that that guy has collected that spot from Rashford. So Rashford have to really fight to collect that position back. In fact, Rashford can't collect that position for now. In fact, honestly, for this season, he can't collect that position from Ganashu. He has taken it. He gets right. So, um, for what for what I saw in that game, Amrabat. <laughs> the truth is that Amrabat actually put up a solid solid display. <laughs> he get he put up a solid display. Do you know why? <laughs> Kobe Milo. He knows that his spot is gone. Like if he, this chance given to him, if he, if he doesn't use it, well, more, and you know that um, my spot is gone. Like there's no going back. And um, the way the team is now, Tehan. If they have give you opportunity, you cannot use it, Baba. That thing is gone. It's gone and gone. He gets. So he actually put up a solid from a uh, game. Anthony, we saw his work rate. Like he's, even if Kohu, I mean, what was his name? He, he wasn't giving him much option going forward. You understand? He always disrupts his movement going forward. Like he tries to break their play. Like, I don't know if you get the work rate was mad. And he, the only thing I would just actually advise Anthony to do, like. Anthony only has one trick, you understand? And he should try to be like perfect that one trick, you understand? Just perfect it. If you are taking the shot, try make it on target or it's in as much like just go. Let it not be off target, you understand? So honestly, our boys say it was brilliant. They were all brilliant. Look sure, mm, solid, regular, sharp. So honestly, this is just my take. Oh um, uh, <laughs> well, today I said I must be our chef. So not you want me see this thing, guy. Now blood and sweat be this guy. <laughs> um, glory, glory, man, you okay. So on on what I'm at, eh, I don't really clear on a since now. See, guy, see that match. Uh -uh. See, eh, that is just the very normal. You understand? See, no matter how my mood day. No matter how angry I did, you understand? No, oh, say I don't get this location for leg. What if you do that time now? Nah, we'll be say, eh, hey, hey, if you carry my girlfriend come, I must collect my three points. No matter how my mood day. You understand? My wife now my wife. Anytime, if I if I don't collect three points, guy, I, I collect one. That is that I go do alright, guy. I know if my girlfriend knows if you come visit me, I, I go, I go pointless. No matter how my mood the guy, I must collect my three points. Normally, no, nah, yeah. normally. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> so, only thing I feel avoid now, say, make a no go, you understand now? Nah? Hey, make a no go, score go. Normally, go normally. Because you cannot tell you, you know, for now, you just go get penalty, you know, if you score. That guy, they try to avoid picking, you understand? The guy, no one, you know, if you tell me, say, guy. <laughs> Who no get one and one with two? Who does they miss up and down? What are you telling me? Who see, see the child with the kid? Now the kid and they are avoiding the kid because guy. Oh boy! 
See, I say we hold Chelsea for neck like the mom will come out their sofa goes, girl, be that they are going let's girl. It's joke. It's say... joke. <laughs> oh, my, the man shoots me. See, eh, in as much as I'm going to be more positive on this match, let me also talk about the negative side of the game. Let me start with the positive side. If you notice, uh, our wing backs made it difficult for Chelsea to they are for their um for their wingers to progress. Chelsea the wingers did not play anything in this game. Sterling, they all of them had to go through my use weak point, which is our midfield. If you beat Amra back in our midfield, you have an expressway. Do you understand? That's where Chelsea even Modri could not go through his wing. If you notice, Modric did not even jump that lot one and one. Sterling did not jump sure one and one. Pamago was where the midfield. They have to follow the midfield because that was my only weak point in the game. Because if you notice, McTominay was playing as a second striker down at the back of Holland, who was pressing. Bruno now is the same time, he was playing as the same time he said that. But we all know that Bruno has eye for goals. Bruno has the eye to move inside. So whenever Bruno will not always play as the same time perfectly because he wants to go inside. He wants to do his work of giving assists and, and making chances you get so bruno has to do that thing so when bruno is doing that thing now the midfield is open guy liverpool go fuck you up oh, if you do this thing this see we have to be careful if you notice the only way because like this our midfield there the only remedy to our midfield is that normally we cannot move mctonomy you can you cannot bench him so the only remedy to our midfield is to play a fast defenders because we are going to play high line now that is the only remedy if you notice when Lindelof was there, oh my, I don't know what's going on. Lindelof fought for ground, guy. I see what's going on. Then catch us one and one. If they send a better striker, nobody listen for the talk now, now because they for punish us because of say that our midfield they open. Then Lindelof and Maguire, they, 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 they chase Jackson for 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 years because they, there's, there's nothing they can do about it. That was how the coach has to remove Lindelof and bring in Shaw because now he knows he cannot remove either Amrabat or McTominay. You understand? The only remedy now is to change the defenders so that you can have faster defenders. So whenever there is a porous midfield, those players can cover. You understand? So that is the only side we need to work on. So if we have, if we, if we keep on playing sure, at least it's going to reduce that midfield. No matter how porous the midfield is, we know the advantage that that porous is discussing us. It's making us to press more, to press more and open the midfield. But at least our defense is now uh, open. But if we have, we can put Shaw and Maguire there. Somewhere that can be faster and can, can intercept crosses. I think I think we can play. We can be okay against any other team we are going to play. That's my take on United guy. <laughs> um, joy, joy, joy. McTominay was playing a very advanced role, playing right behind Hoyland, and Bruno Fernandez was also playing high up the pitch because he has an eye for goal, and it left a, a very big hole in our midfield. So Amrabat was literally st stranded. Now I'm going to proceed to do uh, our player rating. We're going to rate them out of 10 with five being the average, starting from our goalkeeper, um, Onana. So I'm going to give him a 6.5 over 10. I'm going to give Luke Shaw a, I'm going to give Luke Shaw an eight over 10 performance. So for Sergio Regulon, so I'm going to rate him a 7.5 over 10. So, Victor Lindelof, I think I'll just give him a 6 over 10. Harry Maguire, this is the Premier League's player of the month. There. Maguire had a solid performance. He had a solid performance. So, I'm going to give him a 7.2 over 10. Diogo Dalot, now, so I'm going to give Dalot a 7.5 over 10 as well. Amrabat, so I'll give Amrabat a 7 over 10. Scott McTominay, arguably the man of the match. And the keyword there, arguably. So I'll also give him a 7.5 over 10. Bruno Fernandez, why did you miss that penalty? So I'm going to give Bruno a 7.5 over 10. Anthony, I think Anthony has listened to his critics and he's trying to work on his decision in his decision making. And we saw that in this game. Anthony had a very impressive game. He's listening to instructions and he's doing, um, he's making better decisions. So I'll also give Anthony a 7.5 over 10. Ganacho, arguably the man of the match. I'll give Ganacho 8.5 over 10. Rasmus Hoyland, it's just sad with not he has not still record. Um, it's just sad he has not still recorded a goal in the Premier League. I hope he comes soon. So I'm going to give him a 7.2 over 10. Now, for the man of the match, my man of the match is Ganacho. 8.5 over 10. 
I see Ganacho solidifying himself in that left wing forward. And I think that's my overall take. All right, my people, we've come to the end of this session. Do well to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, send us your comments on the comment section. We are expecting to see them. Our Twitter link has, um, we've added our Twitter link to our bio description below. So do well to follow us on Twitter. We're going to see you in our next show. Bye.